You don't want soup. You know, like that is just not. Yes. So when you're when you're working with your contour on the side of the nose, you're not dragging that back into the face. You're lifting it up. You can use your fingers, they're really great because you've got a lot of heat in your hands and it softens things up and you're pressing it into the skin and you're actually taking off some of the foundation if it gets too heavy. Does it feel heavy on your face? No. You've, you've had some, no, you've had some makeup crawl done, right? Oh, God. <laughs> More like 10 layers before. Yeah. And then you start feeling like you're not yourself anymore. Too much, look in the dry plane and stop it. It's not from Paul's dry plane. I want you to look at your skin just so you can see. Yeah. <laughs> so, what, what did you come in at? Four? Four for now. Four for now. That's pretty major. Yeah. For a first timer? Yeah. That's good, that's good stuff, right? Good luck. She just got a dress and showed up. <laughs> <laughs> here I am. Okay. I'm here. And, you know, people go through years of training for that. Do they? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like the Olympics. Mm -hmm. That is true. It's very, like, show for me, right? Uh, the beauty Olympics, yeah. The beauty Olympics. And she was set. She was in the top five. All right, now I'm going to use that warmer, the warmer of the two foundations. Show you. I'm just going to use a stripe. I'm just going to use a little bit on the forehead. Here. My smaller brush again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a question for you. Yeah. I have a question back at you. Yeah. Uh -oh. So, like, if you were going to build a house, would you put the roof on first? <laughs> right. It's called foundation for a reason. It's the foundation of the face. So it's actually in the name. I think it's really uh, a shame that these makeup artists are trying to teach you. Put the eyes on first so you don't have fallout. And then just go back and clean up everything. So what you have is a very imbalanced look. What you get is skin, way too much eye makeup, and it's really lazy makeup artistry. You don't know what you're doing. You shouldn't be doing that. You know, that makes me really irritating. I have friends that do that all the time. I do the eyes first. I'm like, you know, where does that leave you? <laughs> Nothing else fits right. The eyes are the last thing I do on the whole face. Because what you're doing is everything, right, the thing that everybody notices about somebody is their eyes. Like you can have full lips and that's great. People look at you while you're talking. But it's your eyes that everybody connects with. So well, how do you draw people in your eyes? So we need to do all this other stuff. There's a supporting cast for this. 
So this should be the last thing that you do because you got balance. And one of the most important things, Victoria and I were speaking about this earlier, one of the most important things about being a makeup artist is knowing when to stop. There's enough makeup on because you can just put it on and putting it on and putting it on and by the time you're done, you're like, okay. You're a whole different person. Like, you're not even the same sex anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to use a cream blush. This is one of mine, but you can use any cream blush. The light comes out. We're just going to hit the apple in these cheeks. And this should be the pinkier spot in here. And then it just kind of trails off and barely touching the skin with it. These are the apples, just the same way to know. you're on a photo shoot, there's very little touch up going on here. You might want to smooth out some of the skin texture, maybe remove any bumps or lumps or you know, freckles or anything like that that's showing through. But I think it's really important to also <coughs> see the skin. You know, the skin's very important. So even though you have makeup on, it should look like there is a person underneath there. And our job, I think, as makeup artists, is to enhance somebody's beauty and bring out the best in them. You want to minimize the things that don't work, emphasize the things that are beautiful, and really make the skin look beautiful. It look like it's breathing, like she naturally looks like that. Jennifer, I used tons of makeup on her. It looked like nothing, though, right? I'd be like, oh, she's so beautiful. It's so natural. Oh, my world. You're like, you're right, Quinn, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to. Take some translucent powder. <coughs> you can use it in your puff, right? This is RCMA's powder. I find that it works really good because it doesn't, um, white. doesn't turn white when the flash hits it, when you're under lights and stuff like that. So do you guys know how to load a powder puff? Anybody? No. no. Anybody? Make a taco. Right. And you eat it. No. <laughs> eat makeup, it'll make you look pretty. <laughs> so what I do is I try to get it into the inside the puff, okay? What it does too, it also breaks down the fibers inside the puff so it's not so stiff. If you can see, the powder's gone. But it's there. It's all there. Yeah, well, you know, the worst is when you have to hurry up and do a touch up, and then you go in and it's like, boom, and then all of a sudden you got this white thing, and then you're cleaning up, and the photographer's like, I guess I can, you know, hit it with a little bit of powder, you can hit it and quit it. And you've already spent like an hour in there, like, we're cleaning up a mess, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> mess aisle too. <laughs> you know. And this is another really great 
technique that I have my clients do, and I say, here, push. Mm -hmm. See? And you push, you know, press that powder in. I work with Celine Dion, she's got, you know, the skin um, <coughs> is real dry. And so before stage, you know, she just sits there and just say, push, and she's like, Arr! you know. <laughs> but it photographs like it's completely smooth. She just has a little rough texture to her skin, so not everybody's has <coughs> So, and you guys have heard the term face beating, right? Mm -hmm. Got your face beat? Nope. This is where it comes from, beating the face. Okay. You want to smooth out all that foundation before you get into this. Powder in there. Otherwise, it's just press the wrinkles in, press the grease in. Older skin, I just plow right through it and just like more and 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 more. more, more. It's like heavy, heavy duty stuff. They freak out, you know. But a photograph's amazing. But, you know, we're talking about multimedia makeup as opposed to like personal appearance makeup where you're standing in front of people. So I didn't use the eye, eyeshadow primer. I don't like eyeshadow primers. Mm -hmm. Same reason I don't like facial primers. The eyeshadow eventually slides off your face. It's silicone. Silicone is not um, it's a polymer. It's not real. So it never really adheres to different part of the skin. That's why I don't like them. So I just smooth that lid out a little bit. Take a little bit of powder. This is just the foundation. That's it. And that's interestingly enough, that's primer. Primer, I'm ready for color.
because she has so much pink in her skin, we've kind of canceled it out with, uh, with the yellow foundation. I'm going to pick up on a little bit of this pinkiness here. See you how know, these are a little bit more on the pink side as opposed to these, which are all yellow? These are great for this. And you'll see right away you start getting color back. Because the other thing is a translucent color. putting on so light now. So now you're starting to build with like layers and textures and shades. Now I'm just using my kind of like pinky, rosy color. <laughs> You're like, is something going to happen to you? <laughs> the only thing that I actually felt was the sponge. That. The milk magnesium. Yeah, yeah. That's the only thing. Yeah. If you really want your face to be beautiful, you know. Alright. So I think I'm going to go to the eyes now, right? that I like to work with. I 
Uh, do the brick. Yeah. You guys, this is a really good drugstore find. Physician's mm -hmm. formula. You guys know that? Yeah. Yeah. It's like cheap shitty stuff, but <laughs> this is good. There's a few things they make that are decent. <laughs> and this thing I, I thought was really interesting. I just bought it because I was like, let me try it. <laughs> and I like it a lot <laughs> for a lot of different reasons. Um, this is kind of like, this is bronzing here and then it starts turning pink and then this stuff's really white. I just kind of stay away from it. As you can see, it also has the ribbons on it. It's like all like mangled. Um, so what I have a tendency to do is just grab a little bit of this. Cheap investment. Sorry. You know, and shit. 